freshman at the 1.0 Hayward Field. Did you ever envision a scenario like this? Like today? Um, I mean, I think I thought as a freshman, like, I wanted to win NCAAs. Like, that was my goal. And, you know, I never did that. I was second twice. Um, but I, I don't know. I, I, I feel like I really thought that it could happen one day, and it just it all came together today. So, yeah, I'm, I'm stoked. It looks nothing like it did freshman year, but it's the same, like, Hayward Magic, for sure. What worked today? <laughs> what worked? Yeah. Um, I, I think just, like, belief that I could, and that, like, uh, I remember talking to my coach after before, he's like, whatever happens, like, if it's slow, fast, like, you have all the tools, and, like, I, no one could have predicted what the hell that was, but, like, um, I don't know, it just, it kind of was, like, staying calm in the beginning and then making big moves at the end and like I love the 15 because of the strategy and it was just that was a race based on like who could figure it out and like it was just really fun. <laughs> what did it feel like when you knew you won? I don't know I like literally like don't have words for it but like I think relief because it's like you build up to this race so much and like um, but at the end of the day it was just like another race and like you're just feeding people around you so like so much relief joy like every emotion <laughs> when you're kicking and you've got the Olympic 800 champion right there with you are you thinking about that at the moment like um, I think I obviously was like, holy shit, I, this is a thing Mo, like, <laughs> but like, also you're like, it's just another person, like, you know, um, at that point it's just bodies, and like, how many people can I be, and like, um, yeah, I mean, obviously everyone in there is like a class act, and has done incredible things, um, but like, I know that I'm like a great runner too, like, and I just, just had belief in myself, and you know, some of these things is just luck and like the stars aligning on the day. And like, I think just today was my day, but it, it could have been anyone's, like, for sure. Was there anything you think made no. the difference, like a, a move you made in the race that kind of helped you win it? Um, I honestly don't even remember much of it. Um, I think just telling myself to be patient in the chaos that was the first couple laps, but um, I, I always like to make a move at 500, and I think I got in a really good spot uh, with the at the bell lap and so I think I think that was that was a good move. <laughs> Nikki, uh, Corey described it as like the most physical race that she has ever yeah. been in. I mean, did you feel that as well? Yeah, like I don't think a single person did get spiked. It was like insane. Uh, but yeah, I, I honestly, someone stepped on the, the back of my foot, like the first hundred, and like I felt my shoe almost slipping off. I just took like one hard step and it went back on. So like, yeah, it, it was very physical and chaotic, but like I think just staying like calm and confident was kind of like the two words I kept repeating to myself and, and it all, it all out. <laughs> in addition to that, I guess like you, you have the American flag on you right now, but like when in the stands, there's someone holding like the trans flag. Yeah. I guess for you, what is that? What is that like? You, you just want to see me cry, don't no, you? No, I know. <laughs> uh, no, it was awesome. Like I think you know, there's so many like so much hate right now, and like specifically the bills being passed for trans youth, and like I just I feel like the LGBTQ community like needed a win, and I was like. I don't know, there's so many things that go through your mind that in the race and for every reason, like, that was kind of in the back of my mind, and I was like, I, I saw that trans flag right when I, like, came out before the race even started, and I was like, like, that person, like, I don't know their pronouns or who they are, but, like, they brought that flag, and, and I bet they're here for me, and, and you know, um, yeah, I saw them after the race, and I gave them my bid, because I was like, like, I, I did a whole victory lap holding my bid, I was like, I want to give it to that one person, because they, they were the reason that, like, you know, I won, or, or one of them, like, they pulled it out of me, so, yeah, it was, it was awesome, and, like, uh, track is a super niche sport, and I don't even know if, that many trans or queer people watch, but like the ones that do, like that's what I do it for, you know.